stop me from balling. They won't stop me from balling. Can't stop me from balling. They won't stop me from balling. <laughs> they can't stop me from balling. Yeah, can I tell them like this? This is where it all started, bro. Old rapping shit, bro. Kinda. This is where it got took it serious. You feel me? This high school, guys are high. This where we used to battle rap. Studio. It's the Amis class. I'ma need a drop top. I'm trying to feel the sun. They say rappers don't go platinum. I'm about to get it done. About to have a daughter. My next one gonna be a son. Better recognize that I'm the hottest where I'm from. South Fontana, I.E. Where it's at? Put it on my back till we all on the map. You know what I'm saying? When we first learned about engineering, making beats, you know what I'm saying? That's where all this shit started. You know what I'm saying? Where the name M16 came from. Everything. At this school. You feel me? A lot of stories, man. My week, the week before graduation, I got expelled from here <laughs> for inciting the riot during a freestyle. It was a freestyle battle between me and, you know what I'm saying, Hispanic Cat. And, you know, at that time, you know, tensions was real high between the blacks and the Hispanics. So when we were battling, you know, it get wild, it get aggressive. So in the midst of us battling, people were like, oh, you know, they start fighting and the whole thing. So I ended up being the one that, you know, took the blame. and. Cause I knew more people and they say I started it and all this other stuff and I'm trying to start a war and beef and you know it doesn't even fail. But this school, even though, you know what I'm saying, I did a lot of fucked up shit, got in trouble a lot, made me and created the artist. Yes, sir. I feel like I'm close, they complain that I'm doing the most. I'm doing the most. I feel like I ain't doing enough until I make a million bucks. Tell them hustle. All I know is hustle, hustle. Rain hell, we snow, gotta get that dope. Stay on the grind, I need every coin from in time. All mine. I feel like I'm close, they complain that I'm doing the most. Haters, I feel like I ain't doing enough until I make a million bucks. What? I met my boy K Dub at this contest called Who's the Hottest in the Desert? You know what I'm saying? You know, I think they kind of snubbed me, but you know, I met him, you know what I'm saying? In the whole, uh, the process, the audition process, you know, he, um, he seemed like a real stand up dude, 100 cat. We had a few conversations. He said he wanted me to enter. You know what I'm saying? I entered. It ended up being like way bigger than I expected. It was crazy. I seen people in the IE, well, where I, where I was from, that I ain't never seen before. So it was just like, dude, it was just dope to see how many different, you know, artists and styles got to mesh and really, you know, competed for one. You know what I'm saying, uh, reward. So we met there and I just seen how big and how professional they handled things and we just kept in touch from there. <laughs> like sometimes you just gotta speak from a place you ain't never spoke from before, you know what I'm saying? I heard they sleeping on me. If I got your attention, keep it on me. It's always the ones with the most to lose is speaking on me. I snatch your wife, your baby mama, the bitch you sleep with on me. Niggas say my flow a threat. I ain't even flowing yet. Trying to compete with me? You're going dead. This is a pigeon versus a Boeing jet. I ain't got no regrets. So ahead of my time, I've been made it. I just don't know it yet. This is session. I'm already in my dream. Think it's reality? Predicted everything you seen. Conquered everything you scheme. Shit ain't always what it seems. Try to pay homage and pay respect. But these niggas wanna check. Niggas that crack your melon, peel your onion for them brilliant. It gets deeper than the dungeon. My toes like a bunion. Cause I know my time is coming. I'm the one the Lord summons. Piggy ring look like a funion. And it got their mouth running. Know the crack a bitch easier than a cell phone screen. And then leave a moist as elbow cream. That's lotion for the illiterate. Literally don't give a shit. If you think I can spit, I think I can make a hit. Liable to die a whore. My goal is just to, to be, you know, financially stable for my family. You know, I just had a little girl, so I just really want to take care of her, make sure she has a, a future, you know, that her, her, you know, her imagination could grasp. You know what I'm saying? When you're young, when you're a kid, they tell you you could be anything, you could do whatever you want, but you really, when you think about your finance, or your finances or the place you're at, it's kind of like unrealistic. So I just kind of want to make it where. 
life it, that could be realistic for her when I tell her she could be anything she wants. I wanted to it's see realistic, you know. So that's really the goal, just to make it where, you know, my legacy and my family is taken care of. That's really my goal. Like a deal or a man, they talk behind our back, but respect us when they see us. When those D is young with more bands than Pancho Villas, need a pretty young thing with a swag like. I want when people hear my music, they be like, oh, he talks about this and that and the other. I want them to understand the reason why it could be two extremes is because I'm a human being. And in life, it's, it's two extremes. All my life, I've been motivated by the negatives. You know what I'm saying? So when I quote unquote fail or fall on my ass, that motivates me more than, you know, an accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? I'm more motivation, motivated by my failures and my disappointments. So, you know, I've had a lot of disappointments in different ways, and that motivates me more so. When I succeed, it's like, okay, but it could always be better. You know what I'm saying? But when it doesn't go out the way I plan, I'm like, okay, fuck it. Start the drawing board, let's get it. How can we attack it so this don't happen again? What I'm most proud about with Necessary Nonsense is um, um, actually having taken other people's input, being open to uh, learn. I feel like I learned with this project, I've learned and I've been able to grow as a songwriter and um, as a businessman. And just, you know, I feel like, you know, with the music, you know, the tour is going to reflect all the, the passion and the, the energy that we put into the music. And I feel like the people are going to accept it and receive it in a very uh, great manner. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we do this, we, we do this for ourselves as therapy, but we do it also to affect the people and the culture and for people to receive it well. Um, no Pity is a group of my friends, rappers, we from different places, and uh, we pretty much, we like metal, we just sharpen each other, you know what I'm saying, we really test each other, and we kind of uh, build off each other, I really consider them like, they like my, my, like my brothers, you feel me, I think, uh, what was the question again? <laughs> I was kind of like Obama and this shit. <laughs> like, just like saying shit, like, yeah, Obama, do it. Y'all cut me off. Boss is like that oldest brother that's the cool. We like, hey, look, man, he's cool. He's hey, hey, let's chill, let's relax. We just gonna have a good time. K Dub, like, nah, shit ain't about chilling. We gotta get business done, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta do that. That shit was dope. This shit was dope.